Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I am Ashfaq. In Azure DevOps, if you are using the Microsoft hosted agent to run your job, so you will get the bill for that. So today I will show you how to create the self hosted agent and how to run your job on that self hosted agent. So let's start today's video. So I have logged into my uh, Azure DevOps account. I will create my project. I will keep it public. Create project. I will quickly go to project setting service connection create service connection I will select the github next grant authorization OAuth I will select Azure pipeline I will click on authorize I am already logged into my uh, GitHub account, so it has taken the credentials from there. I will give the name to this connection. I will tick here and I will click on save. So in my organization, if I go to setting and if I go to agent pools, so this is the uh, Azure pipeline agent pool which is having the Microsoft hosted agent and you can see here uh, in my account I have disabled it. If I go back to agent pool, if I go to default, here we don't have any agent and I will add the self hosted agent here. I will click on new agent and uh, if I go to system prerequisites so there is only one prerequisite which is Visual Studio build tools I will open this link and download the exe I will install it install ok so visual studio build tool installation completed I will now click here and download the agent. Agent has been downloaded in the zip file. If I go to CMD hostname so this is the host name of my local system in which I will be installing the self hosted agent for the Azure DevOps and if I go to run so it is the Windows 11 system I will open the PowerShell I will go to C drive and make one folder here called agent and we will extract the downloaded zip file in this folder 
with this command on the powershell i will first go to agent folder and i will give this command if i go to agent the zip file has been extracted here if i go to azure portal if you go here user setting you will find option to create the personal access token and here uh, after clicking on the new token you can create the personal access token which i have already created for my account i will copy this command and give it here to start the configuration i will give my server url i will confirm for the pat here i will provide my pat enter enter agent pool our agent pool is default enter agent name i will confirm the work folder so enter run agent as service i want to run the agent as service so i will type here yes yes enter enter again so agent has been installed in my local system if i go to services dot msc so you can see here agent has been installed as a service here i will now go to azure devops portal and uh, inside the default agent pool you can see my lab agent is showing online i will go to my project pipeline pipeline create pipeline use classic editor github i will select my repository continue empty pipeline and here i will select the agent pool so our agent pool is pool is default and this should be the name of our job i will click on save and queue save and run 
so job completed so you can see here the agent which it has used was the lab agent which is our self hosted agent which we had hosted on our on premise windows virtual machine or windows system I will again go to pipeline and this time I will run the YAML pipeline. I will go to new pipeline GitHub YAML. I will select my repository. I will click here on starter pipeline and here I need to give the pool name if I don't give any pool so it will use the uh, Microsoft hosted uh, agent pool so here I will define my agent pool which is having my self hosted agent and the agent pool name is default I will click on save and run save and run It is asking the permission I will allow it so job run completed if I go to job so it has used the default pool which is having the uh, self hosted agent and uh, this is our agent uh, which it has used which is our self hosted agent lab agent by this way you can create and configure the self hosted agent and you can uh, get rid of microsoft hosted agent which creates the billing Hope you find this video helpful. Follow me on the LinkedIn. I post here the multiple useful uh, things and documents here. Like the video, share it with the friends and spread the knowledge. I look forward you to join me in the next video. Thank you.